favorite TV show growing up? Uh, Twin Peaks. And what was your nickname growing up? Little Rod. What was the first job you ever had? Uh, I worked at a giant uh, amusement park in uh, Germantown, which was called Spassburg, and I wore lederhosen and I stocked the games with uh, plush stuffed animals. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? I think it'd be good to be able, I, I've always thought it'd be good to read people's minds. And what would your kryptonite be? Probably boobs. Cape or no cape? No cape. Uh, what's an outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? Parachute pants. And a current trend you hope disappears forever? Uh, dudes with the shirts that are like mid, hang mid thigh, like they're short in the front, but they hang in the back, but they're like t-shirts. What? What's the sexiest accent? Australian. And funniest sounding non-funny word? Hootin', hootin' Annie? What's a hidden talent of yours? If given enough time, tie a cherry stem in a knot with my tongue because of Twin Peaks. On a scale of one to 10, how good a detective do you think you'd make? Three. And on a scale of one to 10, how good a criminal would you make? Seven. What's the first album you ever owned? Uh, Muppet Movie Soundtrack. First concert? New edition. Guiltiest pleasure in your music library? Erasure. And what's a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Bizarre Love Triangle. Do you have a favorite dance move? It's just, it's sort of, it's more of a sort of ethereal, like Cure-esque vibe than a single move. What's your go-to karaoke song? Anything by Enya. And what's uh, Sean's go-to karaoke song? Uh, Africa by Toto. And finally, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Uh, Twin Peaks, and if you want something that isn't always Twin Peaks, I'll say uh, Greatest American Hero. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Never thought I could feel so free. Something is something on a wing and a prayer. Wait for it. Who could it be? William Cat in the hair. Believe it or not, it's just me. What was your favorite TV show growing up? Ooh, Webster. And what was your nickname growing up? So they would call me Professor Boulder Rock because they said my head was like a boulder rock. What was the first job you ever had? You know, here's the thing. I started doing uh, show business from the age of 10. So my first job was understudying Savion Glover on Broadway in the tap dance cage. Not bad. Uh, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Tap. Throw in sand in the eyes. And your kryptonite? Ooh, carpet. A tap dancer hates carpet. Cape or no cape? Oh, you gotta have a cape. Outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? The Alamo jackets. I don't know if you remember the glitter jackets back in the day. They had like California, they had USA, and they were called Alamo. I still have one, so if it ever does come back in style, I'll be able to rock it. And what's a current fashion trend you hope disappears forever? The romp him. <laughs> it's like a romper for men. Yeah. <laughs> what's the sexiest accent? I, so I'm gonna say a couple. Australian, British, Italian, mainly because I love limoncello. But then, you know, I got a big of all the island folks. Jamaica is always at the top. What's the funniest sounding non-funny word? Murder. All depends on how you say it. <laughs> What's a hidden talent of yours? I'm not bad on the saxophone. On a scale of one to 10, how good a detective would you make? Probably a five. And how good a criminal would you make? Probably a five. What's the first album you ever owned? Thriller, Michael Jackson. And a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Um, Can You Feel It by the Jacksons. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I mean, Michael does it better, but you know what I'm saying. Do you have a favorite dance move? The Moonwalk. Can you tell I'm a fan of Michael Jackson? What's your go-to karaoke song? Ooh, see right now, I'm sure that you are thinking, he's gonna say a Michael Jackson song. Wrong. I'm going to say The Commodores, just to be close to you. Oh, girl, so many things I thought had so much value. Didn't have any value at all. And what's Gus's go-to karaoke song? It's probably Purple Rain. And finally, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Cheers. Cheers, of course, you mean cheers and cheers! What was your favorite TV show growing up? Twilight Zone. And what was your nickname growing up? Dino, because I'm Corbin Dean. What was the first job you ever had? Carpenter. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? X-ray vision. And your kryptonite? Sugar. Cape or no cape? 
Okay. What's an outdated fashion trend that you hope makes a comeback? Platform shoes. What's a current trend you hope disappears forever? Tattoos. What's the sexiest accent? British. Oh, yeah. Funniest sounding non-funny word? Salami. What's a hidden talent of yours? Carpentry. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good a detective would you make? 10. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how good a criminal would you make? Zero. What's the first album you ever owned? Meet the Beatles. Uh, first concert? The Beatles. Nice. Uh, guiltiest pleasure in your music library? Iron Maiden. And what's a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Magic Carpet Ride. Do you have a favorite dance move? The Swim. Look it up. Google it. What's your go-to karaoke song? Don't do karaoke. Uh, what's Henry's go-to karaoke song? Henry and Corbin hate karaoke. And finally, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Gotta go with L.A. Law. What was your favorite TV show growing up? Greatest American Hero. And your nickname growing up? Kier, or Kiki. What was the first job you ever had? I was an usher at a performing arts center. So show people to their seat in steep balconies. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Weapons expert. And probably flying. I would fly. Yeah, I would fly. What would your kryptonite be? Ankle weights. Cape or no cape? No cape. Outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? Stirrup pants. And a current trend you hope disappears forever? Mom jeans and man buns. Oh, man buns, they got to go. What's the sexiest accent? South African. And what's the funniest sounding non-funny word? Moist. It's just wrong. What's a hidden talent of yours? I can look at anything and pretty much give you how long it is in inches. Or feet. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good a detective do you think you'd make? 10. And how good a criminal would you make? <laughs> 10. I think I would know. I would know what to do. What's the first album you ever owned? Born Late by Sean Cassidy. And the first concert you ever went to? Huey Lewis in the News. <laughs> I was older. Guiltiest pleasure in your music library? Metallica. And what's a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Smells like teen spirit, Nirvana. Favorite dance move? Pas de beret. It's like pas de beret, pas de beret. Yeah, that's down. What's your go-to karaoke song? If, if they don't have Jam On It by Nucleus, uh, then I'm doing Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. And Chief Vic's go-to karaoke song? In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. And lastly, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? <laughs> Three's Company. Come and knock on our door. You have to do the follow-up. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Things are his, hers and hers and his. Three's Company, too. Da -da 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 -da. What was your nickname growing up? I had two, Mags and uh, The Main, because I always had long hair. And what was the first job you ever had? Playing a munchkin in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Uh, if I had my choice, time travel. And your kryptonite? Chocolate. Cape or no cape? Cape. Outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? The pixie cut. And what's the current trend you hope disappears forever? The man bun. What's the sexiest accent? French. That was a terrible French accent, by the way. And what's the funniest sounding non-funny word? Touché. And what's a hidden talent of yours? A hidden talent? I am, I am an expert hacker. I can pack very well for a trip, and very quickly. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good a detective would you make? I'm going to give myself a 10. I think it'd be pretty good. And how good a criminal would you make? Zero, because you can always tell when I'm lying. What's the first album you ever owned? My mom gave me, because it was her favorite album, Carol King Tapestry. I only remember I was maybe seven or eight years old. It's like, what is this? Is not, this is not current. Uh, what's the first concert you ever went to? New Kids on the Block. 1989, that's right. Guiltiest pleasure in your music library? I like to sing Martina McBride at the top of my lungs. What's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, that would be Pat Benatar, We Belong. What's Juliet's go-to karaoke song? Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Real Love by Mary J. Blige. And finally, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is a story all about how my life got twist turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute. You just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air.
What was your favorite TV show growing up? Moonlighting. Probably the reason that I ended up becoming a writer. What was your nickname growing up? When I worked at Disneyland, I had a name tag that said Stev. It had no E at the end, so I would tell them I had a vowel movement. And that stuck for a while. So you can call me Stev and I'll turn around in a crowd. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? I have a superpower, and my superpower is actually in the show. I am in possession of the super smeller. What would your kryptonite be? My kryptonite would be, because I have the super smeller, old lady perfume. It literally will knock me down on the ground. Cape or no cape? Never a cape. Don't you listen to Edna Mode? Outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback. Oh, leg warmers. Current trend you hope disappears forever? Beards. ZZ Top beards can go away forever. Also, most tattoos and almost all piercings. What's the sexiest accent? Oh my gosh, it's a tie. It's the South Carolina Southern accent and the very proper British accent. How about funniest sounding non-funny word? Myocardial infarction. And what's a hidden talent of yours? I can remember the theater in which I've seen every movie in my entire life. On a scale of one to 10, how good a detective would you make? Solid nine. And how good a criminal would you make? Two. What's the first album you ever owned? Elton John's Greatest Hits, Volume One. First concert you ever went to? Barry Manilow at the Greek Theater with my parents. But the first concert I went to without my parents was the ACDC For Those About to Rock tour, and I sat right by the cannons, and I have tinnitus. Now what's the song guaranteed to get you dancing? The Time Jerk Out. And your favorite dance move? Uh, the Tail Gunner. What's your go-to karaoke song? Ghostbusters. Clears the room out immediately. And what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Land of the Lost. How's that go? Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. You know it. In the greatest earthquake ever known. Come on, sing along. You guys should know this. High on the rapids, they toss that tiny raft. Nothing? Plunge them down a thousand feet below. Also tied with the theme to Gary Shandling's show, which I won't sing.